Hi, my name is Steve Northworthy, engineer, musician, pianist, and some of you have seen my earlier videos that I posted on the iPad support plate, and I'm here to describe a new or improved, hopefully final design of a better one, and one that can be made for almost any model, grand piano, small or large. And so, just to recap, people are more and more aware that the iPad Pro, running a program such as Fourscore, is just a superior way of editing and displaying music. Page back, page back, page forward, page forward. If you're watching this, you probably have an iPad running Fourscore or a similar such program. Now, why am I engineering this little plate, support plate? Well, you can certainly put your iPad Pro on a music stand, on the music rack, on the piano. Here, I've taken the music rack off, and every performer knows when they're playing a recital, especially from memory, the music rack comes off. Why? The music rack, unfortunately, covers right over the top of where the hammers are hitting the strings. And it blocks a lot of sound and it changes the color of the sound and not as good away. So you're muting the piano and muting a lot of the transients that come right off the hammers. And once you hear the piano open like this, you really don't want to hear it any other way. So get rid of the music rack and provide support for your iPad and you have a solution. To my knowledge, a device like this doesn't exist for sale, and I designed a support plate that goes right down on top of the cast iron plate for the piano and avoids contact with the tuning pins or the string wires of the piano and it's very secure, very rigid. It's got machine screws with threaded rubber feet so that nothing is scratched. Everything goes right down where it's supposed to go down. You could put a tremendous amount of weight on that. You're not gonna put a lot of weight on it, but you could. And you can take a device like this, put it right on top, this device is quite good. I sourced this on the internet recently. It's got little rubbery feet here that kind of make a real nice friction contact with the plexiglass. It's real sticky, it doesn't really want to move. And you take your iPad and you simply place your iPad right there. And I mean nothing is going to move it unless you really have a a hard hit or something like that. You're not going to do that. You're more careful than that. So nothing is going to move. It's very secure and problem is solved. Let's take another look at this from another angle and you can see where the support plate is making contact down right on the cast iron plate. You can see how nice and secure everything looks how beautiful and transparent it is because it's clear. You can see the beauty of the tuning pins and the wires and the cast iron plate of the piano. It's like it's not even there. You can look at this from the piano's perspective and it looks like the iPad's just floating in the middle of the air. And you're hearing all the lovely sounds that are coming off the strings. And it's like just as though the music rack doesn't even exist. Another close-up perspective from the top down, and you can see how nice everything fits. Now, people said to me, well, Steve, that's fine, but you know, I haven't downloaded everything I want to download into my iPad yet, and sometimes I want to still use my sheet music. Am I going to have to take this off and then put my music rack back on the piano? And the answer is no. I solved that problem for you. I have a foldable piece, two pieces of plexiglass hinged in the middle with 
support for the music underneath and everything is removable, everything is adjustable, and the music goes right there. Okay, I'll grab my music, put my music right on that, and everything is all good. Well, is it strong enough to hold a music book, like 50, 60 page book of music? The answer is absolutely yes. Here's a 60 page book of music. It's not going anywhere. Flip the pages, you gotta adjust the angle, and everything's good. Now, the good news is how portable all of this is. Let's take the music off. Let's lift this little guy off here, and let's take off these little support pieces. They go on as easily as they come off, and the hinge folds perfectly flat, goes right down in your briefcase. Well, what about this? This looks kind of big and awkward. Did it? Well, yeah, it goes in your briefcase. Watch this. We push that together like that. Pull that back. Push that together like that. Push that forward. Turn that around. And right down in your briefcase. And this right down in your briefcase. Of course, the iPad goes in your briefcase too. So you've got four pieces and you can go anywhere with them. There is always a trade-off and what is the trade-off here is that the support plate in this case is 8 by 10 and some pianos, smaller grand pianos, the Steinway M, L, O, A, have a much shorter distance between this rim and the plate and so that distance is more like six inches so I have a six inch version of this and the problem with the six inch version is that this device is a little bit too long for that six inch version so what I do is I use a device like this which is only five or six inches deep now, if you want complete portability, you want to remove that from the plexiglass support plate, you can use Velcro. Velcro on each of these four corners. Velcro on the plate, push that down, and it's not going anywhere. So it'll be quite secure. You can see I have three little patches of Velcro here in case I want to put Velcro in the back of the iPad and stick the iPad more to it like that. Now, that's just uh, extra security, and I haven't found that I really needed that. I tried it both ways. So again, this is for the smaller grand pianos, um, but particularly the smaller Steinways. The Steinway B is very sufficient for, a, and the Steinway D, of course, are very sufficient for a plate that's eight inches, and for the bigger iPad stand. Um, the drill holes are different for each of the bigger or smaller pianos. So every piano, make and model, is a little bit different in the dimensions in this area. And so I need to make a plate specific for your make and model piano. The Yamaha C5, C6, C7 are probably the same plate from what I can tell so far. The Steinway, smaller Steinways, the M, L, O, A are probably one plate. The Steinway B and D are probably one plate and they're the bigger plate. So there you have it folks. You can get in touch with me at my email address. I'll show that on the screen here and I can give you a quote for a price and delivery of this system. I hope you've enjoyed watching. I hope you are able to use it. Thank you.